Before we get started, the playthrough that you are about to see shows me only getting to wave 28 because I did not use enough snipers. Make sure to choose a map with lots of cliff space, such as Borderlands. Anyways, let's get right into it. Hello everybody, my name is Josetis, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be seeing just how far we can go with the two cheapest towers in tower battles, the Sniper and the Fragger. To get started, I placed down a Fragger, as the Fragger is actually an amazing tower for starting off, thanks to its pretty decent area damage. Next, I placed down a Sniper, which is just going to help us get rid of any overflow or zombies that get through the Fragger. Here you can see me struggle to put down the first sniper. I had completely forgotten that the new update prevents you from putting cliff towers on the train tracks, but luckily I found a place. Now that I had my first two towers down, my main goal was to upgrade them a good bit and then put down more snipers. Oh look, there's another sniper. Watch as I struggle, yet again, to place down my third sniper. Bruh.
At this point, it was pretty obvious as to what was happening. The snipers and fraggers were just not able to take care of all the zombies. There were just too many zombies and not enough towers. Now, if I had brought farms into this match, we probably would have been doing a lot better right about now. But I didn't bring farms because these two towers cost 100 credits each and farm cost like 500. the slime. Look at the arrow pointing to the slime. Do you know what's so special about that slime? It's the slime that's going to kill us! No! And there you have it. Wave 28 with the two cheapest towers in the game. I don't think that's bad. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like it. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. I love you so much. Have a great day. Bye bye